Welcome everybody to another solo adventure with me, Christian Chiller. Every week, pretty much, I try either a solo role-playing game, storytelling game, adventure game, some kind of game, generally one that uh, uses your imagination in some description, and or I try a kind of gaming, digital gaming related tool. I've also been looking at the past couple of weeks. I have just published uh, the stream from last week, which was me getting my, getting designing with um, Hexkit. Um, that is just gone live to YouTube, the edited version. So if you didn't see that, you can go to my YouTube channel and uh, and, and find that there. So I should probably tell you how you can find all those sorts of things. You can find them at Um wherever you're watching as well. Also, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, and um, hopefully I'll see you in a future video. So what am I going to look at today? I'm going to look at a game today. This is one from 2019. It's over on Itch, and it's called Masks. Let's jump into... This is on um, samplereality.itch.io. Uh, and actually, Sample Reality has a few other games as well, as you can see here. <clears throat> a couple of different ones. Might have a go of this one as well. But we're going to look at masks. I don't know where I came across it in the first place, but it uh, seemed interesting. So what's the premise? We are a courier for the resistance. Trapped on a university campus under siege. The environment around you is coming apart fast. So it's going to be quite short. It was made for sub, sub QJAM 2019. Works are limited to a thousand words. And the overall theme is environment. Inspired by the 2019 protests in Hong Kong. A decade of student protests before that. Listen. The shriek of sirens calls you to the window. The wailing cry dissects your spine, a scalpel slicing right through you. It's been what? Three days? We have no choice here, so yes. More likely five barricaded in this university lab while the city erupts below you. They cut off the internet yesterday, severed the fiber, jammed the Wi-Fi. Now you rely on sensors in the lab to tell you what's up. And this below says, and yeah, the window. Sensors in the lab or the window? Let's go for sensors in the lab. You look around the lab for the millionth time. Some sort of environmental science facility, not a chem lab. You laugh at the idea of brewing molotovs in Coke bottles and battling your way out. Not a chance. You're trapped. The tables are cluttered with equipment. A window looks out to the city. Let's continue down the equipment path. Why not? The equipment in the lab is as inscrutable as the chief executive's daily decrees. You are a courier, not a scientist. I guess we have no choice here. An underground courier smuggling in deliverance. But when you broke through the perimeter to get here, the protesters had somehow vanished. On your own, over the past three days, you've managed to figure out a few environmental sensors. So we can go to three days or environmental sensors. I think we're going to continue down the path of the sort of technology sensors, etc. The air quality sensor doesn't measure air. Okay. It doesn't measure particulates. It doesn't measure particulates and irritants. This is starting to sound concerning. 
so much as tells you whether or not you can breathe. Okay. <laughs> Examine the senses gauge. Ah, we have an indicator of air quality. The air, uh, we saw that already. You examine the sensor's gauge in the green. Your body already knows this. You inhale deeply. Like the old song goes, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. The other device we have working is the noise monitor. Okay. Every night, the police blast a playlist of weaponized sound through the streets below. Heavy metal. Oh. Babies shrieking. That's eh? not so good. Sirens and klaxons through the streets below. Not so good. The monitor tells you what nerve-shattering decibels have been breached but it's not merely the loudness that hollows you out. It's the random intervals, the clawing screams, the lack of sleep. You check the noise meter. All's quiet right now. And then suddenly a thunderous boom rattles through the window. You edge up to the window. And peek out to the chaos below. From the fifth floor of the science and tech building, the city spreads out below you. Under a full moon, a haze of smoke shrouds the streets, a revolution in soft focus. A hissing sound in the lab pulls you away. Your eyes itch and your throat is sore. This doesn't sound good. You survey the lab again. Oh, wow. That's cool. Your window looks out to the city. A solid steel door is your only exit. So we have to go very, very quickly. Door. Locked and barricaded from within is your only exit. Five explosions and I have to go for the window. Once more, you edge up to the window. And can you glimpse the chaos below? I feel like we've already been here. <laughs> oh, no. Thousands of protesters hide under a rainbow sea of open umbrellas. Muffled voices come from beyond the barricaded door. You can't breathe. Not really. Not anymore. Barricaded door. Huh. Okay. We're back here again. You take in the lab for the millionth time. A window looks out to the city. You edge up to the window. So it's changed slightly. Again, you edge up to the empty window frame, embroidered with jagged glass, and steal a glance at the chaos below drones whir through the sky a sudden stillness settles over the lad as lab as ominous as the pandemonium outside an acrid smell lacerates your senses you look around the lab again a window looks out to the city you remember that the package you stuck here to deliver is in the lab stashed away among the equipment wow <laughs> It's taken us some time to find it, but the package is the size of a large shoebox. Your contact in the movement seems sure that whatever's in it would help the besieged students. What is it? What weapon could counter tear gas and water cannons shooting indelible blue dye? The reason you're a trusted courier is because you don't ask questions. When it comes to contraband, everything is on a need-to-know basis. You decide you need to know. You slice open the box. It's not what you expected. Does anyone have any ideas of what to expect instead? <laughs> Before I click the link. Cake? No. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a cake. No. All right. The package is full of masks. This is also very um, pertinent to what's going on at the moment, I suppose. Nothing but masks. This is the promised deliverance. You laugh bitterly. What good are masks against uniforms? Both are disguises, but only one has power today. 
You pick through the box. Helmets with steel-caged face guards, hard shell body armor and riot shields skulk beyond the door. Against all that, you settle on the Guy Fawkes mask. A black ski mask. <laughs> uh, I wanted the Guy Fawkes mask. Dazzle camo mask. I don't know what that is. Uh, blue surgical. Gas mask. <laughs> Seems more useful. Uh, Guy Fawkes. Yeah. It's just a mask, but it'll have to do. A Guy Fawkes mask. Guy Fawkes mask. Okay, not much protection from tear gas or rubber bullets, but a dystopian classic. An explosion out in the hallway rocks the lab. They are here. The lab is full of smoke. Screeching steel assaults your senses. The Guy Fawkes mask hangs limp in your hands. Beyond the door, someone in a uniform with a megaphone shouts an ultimatum. A countdown. The megaphone blares nine. You put on the Guy Fawkes mask. Sparks fly from the lab door. An acoustic cannon perforates your bones. The lab equipment goes up in flames. They bust down the door. Behind the Guy Fawkes mask, you weep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think we'll have to do one more. I guess everyone goes for the mask because it's in the picture. <laughs> All right, listen. Three days, yes. I won't repeat everything that we've been through. Let's wait until we get to a new branch. The window we figured was not so useful. Actually, no, it got us to the package quicker. Hissing sound. To the equipment. We're a courier. There we go. The protesters had somehow, when we broke into the perimeter to get here, the protesters had somehow vanished. This looks a little different. On your own, over the past three days, you've managed to figure out a few environmental sensors. The air quality sensor doesn't measure air, particulates, and irritants, but tells you how, if you can breathe, you examine the gauge. Yep. We already know this. The noise monitor. Every night, there's a weaponized sound, the heavy metal, the baby's shrieking, sirens and klaxons, and we have our noise meter. All's quiet right now. Suddenly, a thunderous boom rattles the window. You edge up to the window, glimpse the chaos below. Thousands of protesters hide under a rainbow sea of open umbrellas. There are muffled voices beyond the door. Explosions, explosions, explosions. The door, five explosions. We can't get through the door. We have to go to the window. We edge up to the window, look at the chaos below. Sudden stillness in the lab. How do we get back to our package? <laughs> Feeling foolish, you head up to the window. Chaos below. Okay, this is different now. Xenon arc searchlights obliterate the night. Metallic scraping behind the lab door leaves you cold and acrid smell lacerates your senses. Good, now we remember the package. What is it? We need to know. It's not what we expected. It's full of masks. Is this the promised deliverance? Now, Guy Fawkes mask, no. Black ski mask, no. Dazzle camo, I don't know what that is, but no. Blue surgical mask, maybe we could pretend to be a doctor. Just a mask, but it'll have to do. A blue surgical mask. Okay, in good times, a symbolic ward against the flu. <laughs> in bad times, a symbolic ward against the state. An explosion out in the hallway rocks the lab. They are here. The blue surgical mask hangs limp in my hands. Behind the door, someone in a uniform with a megaphone shouts an ultimatum. A countdown. Ten. You put on the mask. Eight. Seven. Six. Sparks fly from the lab door. An acoustic cannon perforates your bones. Four. Three. The lab goes up in flames. They bust down the door. Behind the surgical mask, you weep. 
I get the feeling every path we follow might lead to the same conclusion, but let's try one more time. <laughs> okay. I will just scroll through again to get to the package. I think this is how I got to it quickly this time. <clears throat> Last time, I mean. Check the lab equipment. You are a courier. They vanished. It's doing environmental sensors. It doesn't measure air, but it could. Da, 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 da. The noise monitor. Weaponized sound. Noise meter. All is quiet. Go back to the window. Edge up to the window. Chaos below the lab. Solid steel door. A window. The window. Chaos below, behind the lab door, a window. <laughs> to keep getting to the window and eventually we remember who we are. The package, there we go. <laughs> we need to know, it is not what you expected. It's full of masks. Guy Fawkes mask, no. Black ski mask, maybe. Dazzle camo, don't know what it is, still, maybe. Blue surgical, no. Gas mask, could be useful. <laughs> What is Dazzle Camo? Is that a wrestler? Is that one of the wrestlers? Let's go practical. I get the feeling it's not going to help, but let's go practical. A gas mask. Okay, clunky with a mildewed odor that screams Cold War salvage bin. Uh oh. An explosion out in the hallway rocks the lab. They are here. Someone with a megaphone shouts an ultimatum. A countdown. Ten. You put on the gas mask. Nine. Eight. Seven. Sparks fly from the lab door. Six, five, four. An acoustic cannon perforates your bones. Four, three. The lab equipment goes up in flames. They bust down the door. Two, one. Behind the gas mask, you weep. Behind the gas mask, you howl. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any any um, happy ending here, so let's give up. You cannot give up. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, let's... Try again. <laughs> Let's go wild. Mm, you're a courier, not a scientist. Somehow vanished. Three days, five days. Environmental sensors. Uh, yes, sensors gauge. Yes, the noise monitor. I feel like this is supposed to make you go a little crazy, and it's working very well. Sound, yeah. Noise meter. Okay. All is quiet. The window. Boom. Chaos below. The barricaded door. The steel door is our only exit. It's locked. The window. The window. The chaos below. The lab. A window. The window. The chaos below. The lab door. The package. Okay. What is it? We need to know. Masks. Let's go for the Dazzle Camo. I don't know what it is. Let's go for it. It's just a mask, but it'll have to do. A Dazzle Camo mask. Dizzying black and white zebra stripes to confuse the facial recognition algorithms. Ah, an explosion out in the hallway rocks the lab. They are here. They give us an ultimatum. A countdown. Ten. You put on the mask. Nine, eight, seven. Sparks fly from the lab door. An acoustic cannon. Lab equipment goes up in flames. They bust down the door behind the dazzle mask you weep. <laughs> I think we get the idea here. <laughs> you cannot give up. Yes, I think we get the idea here. All right. Well, as grueling as that was, I enjoyed it. <laughs> that was Masks. From sample reality, I, I've lost the uh, the actual um, very, very good. I enjoyed that a lot. I think it's uh, pay what you feel, I think. Uh, I, I'm not logged into my itch account here, so I didn't pay for it. Over on samplereality.itch.io, masks, and I think you can find others that uh, you might enjoy or endure just as much there. So... If you enjoyed this, if you want to find more live playthroughs or other kind of gaming related videos or other tech videos, you can find more at christianchiller.com or wherever you watched this. Subscribe, be a thumbs up, thumbs down, say hi. 
I'd love to hear from you. And until next week, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to have next week, um, around usually around 4 p.m. 1600 UTC plus one Central European time, I will be live and then recorded a little bit later. And I think this will also go out to the podcast feed of the Soul Adventure because it doesn't really need the visuals. I hope you enjoyed slash endured that. And I hope you have a good weekend and don't get stuck in a lab in a little protest. Happy Christmas.